The sale of alcohol bill is set to revamp the country's licensing laws, some of which date back more than 200 years. And perhaps unsurprisingly, it's dividing opinion. Vintners have welcomed a move to extend opening hours, but say a decision to liberalise licences will see the end of the rural pub trade. But those on the other side of the debate warn that increasing trading hours will result in more alcohol-related injuries, violent crime and deaths. Alcohol is responsible for four deaths every day, a third of them from accident or incident. It costs Ireland at least £3.7 billion annually. The group say that the alcohol industry needs to do more. In Ireland, half of children have been drunk or very drunk by the time they're 16 or 17. The alcohol industry comes here and makes very substantial profits. I believe that there should be a levy on the alcohol industry to recoup the costs of alcohol-associated harms. The Mandate Trade Union, which represents bar and retail workers, also appeared before an Oireachtas Justice Committee today to highlight their concerns, claiming staff face unnecessary levels of aggression and sometimes violence and intimidation. It can be potentially much more dangerous, and even when it comes down to transport issues, public transport is one thing, but you need to consider that maybe we ask some bar workers to get onto the same public transport to customers they might have had a difficulty with earlier on after being in a pub all night drinking. The union says the proposed bill needs to ensure that assaulting, threatening or abusing workers is made a statutory offence. Transport chiefs have also warned that changes to opening hours will force a revamp of bus and train timetables with a shortage of drivers and the potential costs the biggest challenge. Paul Quinn, Virgin Media News.